All right, so I just want to do a really quick tutorial on how to control parameter on an audio unit instrument or effect in AUM using Drambo. And in this case, I'm using Koala as the music source or the sound source. I've got audio unit loaded down here called Polyvox Filter, which you can see the filter cutoff is moving around. And that movement is being controlled by Drum. The other thing that I um, wanted to show you was the ability to um, control uh, a channel. So, in the first part, we'll, we'll do the polyvox filter, and in part two, we'll do the fader. Um, and then on another note, I just wanted to quickly say that I am by no means a Durambo expert, nor am I an AUM expert. Um, I've only been using AUM for about six months myself, um, but I have figured out, I think, the basics of the MIDI routing, and... Um, and just now uh, starting to use Drambo and wanted to share a quick way to get up and running with that. All right, so here's my setup for that Drambo routing into um, AUM. So I need to load Drambo in order to be the controller for that. So I wanna load a MIDI channel this time and click on that to load something into this channel. Load up Drambo. And you can see that there. Now before we can really do anything with Drambo um, using MIDI, we need to make sure that it's communicating with AUM. So let's go into the MIDI routing, and connect Drambo to the MIDI controls. Now over here on channel one, you want to click on the channel where the channel name is and then open these settings here. Looks like a mixer. Um, and in here, we're going to go to the Polyvox filter and go to the filter cutoff. So um, if you remember when I showed you the automation that I had already built previously, it was moving this knob here and since I know that's what I wanted to control um, I know I'm looking for the filter cutoff so back into the channel controls click here go to the polyvox filter and to the filter cutoff and now it gives you the settings for routing the MIDI information so currently it's off and I can cycle through and put it on whichever of the 16 MIDI channels that I want. Um, right now, we'll just leave it on channel one. Leave this on CC. So we don't want to send note data, we want to send CC data. So CC means that I, I need to pick which CC number I want to send the data on. The data will be from 0 to 100%, um, which MIDI reads as 0 to 127. But I also need to tell it which CC pathway or CC number um, that's going to go to. So in this case, it's defaulting to 0. I could pick some, really any of these that aren't being used. But since these ones kind of already have a standard use um, unless I change this channel which would be another option I want to distinguish this so it's not accidentally overlapping with some other piece of software potentially it just depends on your setup but bottom line is know your setup or um, pick something that you know isn't being used and in my case I'm gonna pick something I know that isn't being used so I'm gonna click until it's not giving me something that looks like it's 
normally designed for that. Here's an undefined, that might be a good one. So these were just basic effect controls. Might use one of those. So yeah, I'm gonna go with 12, CC12 on channel one, okay? So when we go into Drambo now, I'm gonna double click on this header to expand that. And by default, it's giving me some stuff that I may not necessarily need. I want to show you how to find what you need for this setup. We're looking to send CC information um, through MIDI. So we're going to open a new module. We're going to choose MIDI. And I want to grab a CC generator. But what I'm going to recommend is you grab the CC Generator Multi. And I won't get into detail in this video of why, but that's my recommended setting. So then we're going to double click on this dial. And you'll see it has a name, which is just this one that it shows. And just so we kind of know what we're working with, I'm going to give this a name. And I remember it's the filter cutoff. That I'm using. Oops, double click on that again. Now remember, we have to tell it a CC number, and I pick CC12. So this is where I enter that. And the value is currently zero. Um, what CC does is it sends a value of either zero, which is the current value, so it turned all the way down, all the way up to 127. So if I click on that now, now I'm seeing a value of 1, which is 100%, which MIDI will probably read as 127. Um, so the value here doesn't matter. What really matters is that CC number. The name of the channel, uh, or excuse me, of this dial is not important either, but I, I just label it cutoff for convenience. The important thing is the CC number and that that matches up with where you want it and intend to send it, right? That's what I get for being a nervous clicker. Okay, so I've got my CC generator, but I also need to go back to MIDI and grab a MIDI output. So this generates the CC value. This tells it which channel to send the MIDI to. So I selected here the MIDI out option and then I chose channel one because I remember that's how I set up this channel to be used for Polyvox. Channel one, CC12. And this one is channel one of MIDI, CC12. So now this dial should control this filter cutoff. Let's take a look and see if I did it correctly. Oh, there it goes. See, as I'm turning this dial, it's controlling this parameter in a separate, completely separate piece of software um, that is just being routed through through. Drambo. So that's what we're after. Now we have them communicating with each other. And from there, you can automate that several different ways, which I don't necessarily need to get into here. Um, and I'll expand on that on a longer video. But now you can see the setup for the most part is pretty simple. The three things that you need to make sure you have is the MIDI routing in AUM needs to be correct. You need the channel to be pointing to the correct place. And then you need Drambo's modules in the rack section for the track that you're working on, which in this case is track one. So you notice as I click on each track, it's a new set of modules. But on track one, the modules that I've built are gonna send this MIDI info to Polyvox. Okay, so for the 
second setup to control um, a channel volume, like uh, channel one here. I can turn the qual on here. So that filter's been messed with. Let's turn that off. But we could also control the volume of this channel strip with Drambo. So let me show you the setup for that. So once again, we have the channel controls that we can click on and go into the menu here and go to the channel controls. And we see that the volume has already been set up and this must be a Drambo default. It's on channel two. CC7. So I'm going to go to Drambo and I'm going to select a different track than what I worked on for the filter cutoff. So we'll go to track two. And this is by default giving me MIDI to CV. I don't need that. I do. I can use this MIDI output. So we just need to change that to MIDI out set up for channel two. And if I pull this a little bit to the side, we'll create a plus there, and that allows me to insert something in between. And if you remember from the previous setup, I want the CC generator multi. That's one way to go about it. Now double click on that. Channel 2, CC7. There we go. So we did need channel 2. So we'll go to channel 2. Now this should give me volume control. There we go. There's max volume, and there's minimum volume. So now, again, now that that's mapped very easily, Automating that is just a matter of either recording this and moving that dial while recording or um, using the automation that I sh uh, will show you in a bit more detail in a separate video. But as you can see, the setup is pretty simple. Once you've already routed Drambo through the MIDI in AUM, um, then adding additional controls is just as simple as moving to the next track and setting up the modules and telling them where you want them to go. So, all right, hope that's helpful. Cheers.